सी इंटर मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग एमसीक्यूज रिपोर्टिंग अंडर मार्जिनल कॉस्टिंग इज अकम्पलिश बाय ए ट्रीटिंग ऑल द कॉस्ट एज पीरियड कॉस्ट B. Eliminating the WIP inventory account. C. Matching variable cost against the revenue and treating fixed cost as a period cost. And D. Including only variable cost in the income statement. Think of the correct answer. Now see, whenever you are doing marginal costing, we try to be saying. against revenue there is one direct expense that direct expense is nothing but the variable cost your sales minus your variable cost gives you the concept of contribution against contribution now contribution is dependent upon number of units but against your contribution there is one period cost and which is that cost fixed cost fixed cost is not related to number of units that is why it is not written against sales so sales minus variable cost gives you contribution less a period cost that is nothing but fixed cost that starts to give you profit okay so variable cost are per unit cost that are charge against your sales fixed cost are period cost that in any case are going to be there against a certain period so that thing is mentioned in part c of the question so c is a correct answer matching variable cost against the revenue that will give you the concept of contribution and treating the fixed cost as a period cost rest all the options that are there do not make any sense example a why to treat all the costs as period cost only fixed cost will be treated as period cost b eliminating the wip beta wip stock will still be there whether you follow absorption costing or marginal costing d including any Uh, including only variable cost in the income statement beta fixed cost is still a cost no so therefore it will still be included but it will be included as a period cost so answer is c